A neighborhood group is filing a lawsuit over a proposed industrial park near the new Amazon warehouse in Fresno. Action News reporter Gene Hankinson joins us now live from the newsroom with why those neighbors are so upset. Gene? Well, Margo, they are called the South Central Neighborhoods United, and they are suing the city of Fresno because it approved allowing the industrial park. They claim that approval was done without proper environmental review. The site consists of 110 acres of land at Orange and Central, adjacent to the Amazon Fulfillment Center and Ulta Cosmetics Warehouse. The citizens group, organized by the Leadership Council for Social Accountability, held a news conference to announce their lawsuit. Erica Fernandez Zamora says the city's failure to do an environmental impact report violates state law and endangers the health of nearby residents. Bringing industrial facilities next to neighborhoods with no environmental impact uh, reports is not the future. I don't think no one wants to live in a future that it's polluted. Mayor Lee Brand has dubbed the industrial area and the thousands of jobs it will bring as the future of Fresno. In a written response to the lawsuit, the mayor said, these kind of lawsuits are frivolous and a waste of taxpayer money, costing the taxpayers of the city of Fresno hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend. More importantly, they attempt to roadblock and delay much-needed projects that would bring jobs and improve the quality of life for the very people they claim to represent. Laura Jacinto, who lives across the street from the development, fears the construction will result in toxic dust. There's a landfill right next to there. I'm concerned that there might be chemicals that have seeped into the ground. And um, I don't want my children getting sick, especially when they're lifting all that dirt. In addition to issues with the construction, the suit alleges 6,000 additional truck trips will create more traffic and pollution. The issue is not addressed by the city. However, the city maintains the site has been zoned for industry for decades and the city has complied with the law. Fernandez Zamora disagrees. I think this lawsuit is well deserved because they felt in every possible way to like fulfill the law and to do what the residents ask. The property is owned by Richard Cagley and would be adjacent to his recycling operation, but it would be warehouse and commercial space. In the newsroom, Gene Hagenson, ABC 30 Action News.